Have you ever heard the word flip? I assume so. Have you ever heard the word asset? Yes, obviously you're a game developer like me, but have you heard of the two together? Have you ever heard of the term asset flip? I know some of you definitely have, but for those of you who are new to game development, you might not be aware of what asset flipping actually is. The term asset flip has existed for many years now and was popularised mostly by YouTuber Jim Sterling many many years ago. In recent years the term asset flip has been thrown around in a very negative light due to some unscrupulous developers, if you can even call them developers that is, and it's because of what they're doing. Their bad reputation overflows onto good developers and then gives those good developers a bad name for doing something which is perfectly normal in the game development world. What do I mean exactly? Well, let's establish what an asset flip is. Asset flipping is the practice of taking a full asset package from an asset store or an asset website, changing the name and maybe one or two other things within it and then trying to pass it off as your own. Essentially, the asset flipper is taking somebody else's full game project, changing the name and then claiming it's theirs. Now let's establish what is not asset flipping. Taking a bunch of assets from an asset store like models, music, materials, sound effects, and then putting it all together with some code you've written to make a game is not asset flipping. This practice in game development is common and normal. However, Due to the bad developers we spoke about earlier, it's these good developers who use a multitude of assets to make a game who get a bad reputation. Assets on the asset store are there to literally help you build a game. They are there for you to create one and learn. A lot of people who just play games don't really understand how they're made and will paint all developers with the same brush if they use assets that they haven't made themselves. And that's quite ignorant of them. But don't blame them too much, they just don't understand this game development world, they just like to play the final end result of a game that someone's created. So if you're making a game with assets from here, there and everywhere, and you're worried about it being an asset flip, it's not, so don't worry and keep developing. If you're not making a game and instead you're taking the flooded grounds asset and putting a zombie in there and calling it Evil Zombie Resident 2, then stop, you are asset flipping. Those full game assets and projects are there to help you learn, not to pass off as your own. They are there for you to take elements from for your game, not to put the whole thing on Steam and have it priced at $6. So the next time you crank up your engine of choice, just remember, assets are there to help you and if you're building the game yourself with all of these assets that you've obtained, you are definitely not an asset flipper.